Hey guys, welcome back to Fortune Travels. For those of you just joining, I have been traveling since the start of the pandemic and have managed my savings enough to allow me to continue my travels and low-key work, but like on the low. Join me as I document my spiritual journey through food, culture, and love. On this episode, we're going to talk about pie street food. Now, as a food connoisseur, yes, self-proclaimed, I have to say the pie street food is some of the best. And by street food, I mean, of course, you know, at walking street whether you're vegan pescatarian halal only eat carbs whatever all of the above there is something for everyone on this walking street and i really haven't seen anything like this anywhere else in thailand so if you like street food but have been struggling to find something that fits you this is the place let's go ahead and take a look at some of the stalls that they have here at pai here at the walking street so we actually just passed one of my favorite places which i think has the best pad thai in honestly that I had in my whole entire trip in Thailand but I would say confidently that it is the best pad thai in Pai Thailand and I really encourage everybody to check it out. I think part of what makes this stall in particular pretty special is that every single bowl of pad thai that this guy makes is cooked individually. You know at other places that I've seen especially with pad thai street food they don't necessarily do this. They pre-cook the noodles. They don't saute anything. Everything's kind of just made so they can quickly make it in like two or three minutes. But this guy, he spends at least five to 10 minutes, maybe not 10 minutes, but I would say confidently five to six minutes cooking each bowl of pad thai. And it is so delicious. It has all the flavors, all the textures, maybe not all the textures, but definitely the flavors. And that's part of the best part is that actually it's vegan. And just look at all the ingredients he puts in the bowl, okay? he Look, he's putting in onions, garlic, like he puts mushrooms in there. He really makes this, you know, vegan food just look delicious. I mean, who could say no to that bowl of food? Come on now. It, it's so good. It's so good. And of course, you know, I always have to add extra peanuts and extra spice because your girl will. Ooh, and extra lime because that's how I like my pad thai. And next up on the list is for those vegetable lovers, okay? Including the ones who like a little chicken or beef with their veggies. Oh, this looks so uh, yeah. good. And this stall is the tea leaf salad and avocado salad stand. And you don't just have to have a salad, you can have much more than that. It's delicious, and if you are really looking for some vegetables, I think this is one of the best spots to get them, okay? She has grilled vegetables for you, and you can get a wrap, a baguette, a hamburger. Like, she has such a wide variety of choices for your wrap. She even has wraps, okay? Like, she has a lot of variety, and I just love all the vegetables that she puts on there, okay? Look at that, she's putting lettuce, cucumber, onions. She has a special hummus sauce that she makes, okay? And all of this with some chicken and avocado, it is just so, 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 so delicious. And I really encourage you guys to check this place out. You can be vegan, you can be non-vegan, you can be halal. Again, doesn't matter what kind of diet you have, she will have an option for you. And a lot of these stalls are very similar. Now, after you've grabbed your dinner, I definitely encourage you to go to see some of the live music. Now, this was an open mic that we had gone to and it was um it was good it was good maybe not necessarily my music i would spend on a saturday night listening to but you know it's worth just checking out seeing the vibe feeling it and hey you know they take guests to go up on stage too so if you got a talent you want to show in the middle of thailand that's the spot There's also a bunch of hidden bars and clubs also with live music. Oh 
so this is again this is one thing i really love about northeastern thailand the live music is everywhere and i'm such a sucker for live music and this particular bar is amazing because of the long hallway that takes you to the hidden bar in the back these next two places i'm about to show you aren't necessarily gonna be street food but they're two amazing restaurants that i went to and they're vegan and vegetarian based so this is the first one this is called earth tone cafe it's delicious and it's amazing and their bowls are delicious their buddha bowls are just amazing now this place i actually don't know the name um and it's a little bit out of town but i have to say i love how they make traditional thai dishes and they replace a lot of the meat with mushrooms. And look, I have to tell you guys, I love, 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 love mushrooms, okay? So for me, this was heaven. I was in heaven and they have amazing, amazing ice cream. So definitely check it out, especially if you're vegan and vegetarian. And that's it for this week. You guys, thank you so much. Make sure to like and subscribe to the video. And I will see y'all next week and I'll give you guys a little bit more information, a little bit more of the in-depth feel of this amazing small town called Pai in Thailand. Okay, I'll see y'all next time. Peace.